What is up guys, welcome back to another video. I'm out here at Cast Castle right now and I was out here riding this setup in the driveway and I was gonna shoot a video just on this setup out here and it had me thinking, there's a lot of rails and a lot of opportunity for different options here in the indoor part of the park. And it kind of keeps me out of the sun so I'm not getting roasted while filming a video. But I was thinking about taking all those rails and trying to incorporate them here in the interior of the skate park. And you already have this fixed ledge right here. You have this wedge to wedge type of a bigger A-frame which you could put a rail on top of that. So I think it'd be pretty cool to see what type of options I can come across with doing hubba, ledge rail, drop down ledge, just tons of different options. And one of the things I wanted to try to do was link together all of the rails and all ledges from, <laughs> from quarter to quarter. And this is about like, uh, maybe like 55 feet if I had to just gauge, you know, I don't have a ruler here or any type of measuring tape, but 55 feet. And rail, I think we got this. So let's get it all linked up and see what we can get together with the first one. All right, so one of the first setups will be basically feeble grind up this hubba to try to jump onto this to possibly jump from there, grind down there. I might have to move it over a little bit. I'm not too sure. We're gonna have to play it by ear, but that would be the goal. Grind, land, drop down, grind, or grind, land to trick into this bank. I'm thinking maybe with this setup, maybe feeble gap up two tire to gap back over, feeble down the ledge might be the most logical with this speed. Yeah. So I got an idea. So that same ledge, I'm thinking if I put it down on the floor, could probably link together like jump up nose wheelie the green shiftable ledge to drop down grind on this ledge to kind of keep it and link it going so i'll make it up as i go but i at least want to get that initiation of the nosy to drop down grind so i'm gonna try that now All right, so not a ton of room between the kick plate and the ledge. So setup time is like super, super minimal. I'm gonna try to make it happen anyway. I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do off the end of that purple rail, but play as it lies. I thought I was gonna hit my head on the ceiling, for real. Well, not really the ceiling, but like these little rafter things. Really pumped on that clip, but also earlier in the video, I did say that I was gonna try to do like end to end from the skate park with the ledges and rails. I measured it out like with my feet and we don't have enough rail. And uh, not to mention, let me show you these little gaps between them. So I'd have to do some type of maneuvering to get over these. All right, so even after you butt the rail all the way up, you have this gap. And I'm calling it a rail, but I mean, even though it's in ledge form right now, it's transformer rails. It transforms all different stuff. So you still have this gap. So even if I was coming in hot to get off that quarter 
to grind the other one, I'm gonna have to grind hop and I'm gonna lose my speed to grind all of this to hop and continue to lose speed to not make the whole thing. Not to mention, I don't have enough ledges that are that height. So this ledge right here that holds my bag and everything, that one is higher than all of them basically. So it's a little bit higher than the hubba, a little bit higher than the flat ledge. They have different tiers of ledges here. All right, so you were saying I didn't have my camera out. What are you doing here? We're gonna be moving the chicken city and the farm. Check out, have they seen the crops? No, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that crop yield, it's massive. Uh, so I kind of realized it made no sense to put a farm there because the skate park is all here and we're not even using the other side of the lawn. Mm -hmm. So we need, to, we need to make a bigger chicken city and a chicken run. So we're gonna move that to where this back tree house is. The farm is gonna switch sides and then we're gonna put concrete all the way down and put like an eight foot vert wall right there. Oh, right here in the front. Right where the chicken city is? Yep. Okay. So that way, you know, you can be riding around, you can come around, you can come out and just boom, hit that vert wall, get some air, come back, do whatever. That's sick. I mean, there's probably better ways to design everything, but we're trying to figure out how to make this like an outdoor skate park area. Any new chickens since I was but, here? Uh, no, Besides I don't think so. One, Dorothy? Think just yeah, one. just the one. Yeah, that's it. Always nice to have Tim pop in from his segment to be able to chat and give me a heads up on what he plans on doing here at the compound with moving the chicken coop over, adding some concrete, a vert wall, and he also told me some ramps that he actually ordered, some prefabricated ramps that we're gonna have here in the meantime while the lumber prices are just absolutely insane. But that also means that I want you guys to comment below on what ramps you think we should build here once the lumber prices drop. Hopefully they drop. Crossing my fingers that they drop because we want to add some different things here at the Cast Castle. Pick this guy up and we can put it on top of here. Give this a little bit more added height. And uh, might even be able to make that even a little bit higher. Let's do that. So I'll be able to pop these pins out and make this go even higher than it is right now. I'll move all this debris out of here. We'll see if we can get on it. I don't think I'm gonna be able to grind to have grind up the grind bar because I have a bunch of stuff up here because they're doing a bunch of work on some 3D printing and stuff. So I don't really wanna mess with anybody else's organization here. So I just might leave it as it is and uh, just move these things. So that didn't go so smooth the first time around. Yeah, I missed my pop on that uh, wedge. Basically, just didn't work out. Happens sometimes. All right, it's gonna do it for today's video here at the compound. If you guys are interested in any other type of content from here, they actually have a channel called Cast Castle. I'm featured on that channel as well. It is a vlog style channel featuring different stuff from skate parks to range days to cooking and you name it. It's just really fun to watch and really fun to hang out here on a regular basis. So. Check out that channel. You're probably seeing me here in the near future on some episodes over there. So with that being said, if you have any suggestions for future videos or products you want to see reviewed on my channel, put a comment below. If you guys like this video, drop a like. If you love it, hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you in the next one.